Shades Moon, Blake Cousins, breaking news. All I gotta say is big time. Ed has captured and submitted something so incredible. It's beyond comprehension. In my opinion, this is some smoking gun video we're looking at. Captured, as Ed states, of an abduction and a communication. We got the phones ringing. We got hot video just in to Third Phase Moon. Quite amazing. Brent, hold the calls. I want to go over this video right now into Third Phase of Moon. It explains this is one of his many encounters with Voss, but what he captures with his Sony TRV 900, as he states, is quite amazing. Up close, flying saucer in the woods, abduction scenario. Quite amazing. We got Brent Cousins. We're going over the video right now. We're gonna zoom in, slow down, brightness, contrast. We're gonna, you know, go over it real close because what I think we're looking at right now is some of the best, I mean the best, UFO footage submitted to us right here at Third Phase of Moon. I could be wrong. This could be Ed's big Hollywood production going on, but you know what? I believe the guy. I think Ed's genuine. He says you could take a look at his channel, listen to his statements in regards to the video you're looking at right now. Brent, what do you think of it? Blake, you just shared this to me about five minutes ago. I was downstairs. You called me and you told me that this just came in and he said, be prepared. Ed's back. That's what I said. Ed's back is right. And we're looking at this and I'm impressed, very impressed with what I'm seeing right here. You know, I can't definitely say what, you know what? We're just putting it out now. We're not doing our- Let's, Let me put these pictures up right now. Go ahead. Throw, yes, please. Cause it's gonna show the evidence. We need to show the evidence and we need you, the public to really take a look closely at the video and still images. It really shows good imagery of this spacecraft, alleged spacecraft. You know, I'm still on the fence with Ed because- you, You're still on the fence after seeing this video, Brian? You know, I think this thing's really there, in my opinion, Brian. That's why, you know, I'm not seeing CGI, but we don't know who exactly Ed is. He has not really, you know, been forthcoming. I'm glad he shares photos, but let me- Wait, wait, wait hold, hold on, phone calls. Hold the phone calls, hold the phone calls. What, what I'm what saying I'm is, what? hold on a sec, Brent, hold on a sec. What I'm saying is, Brent, hold on. So you're saying that Ed could be having like a crane off, like he has a lot of money and he has a crane and a big, huge, like what we're seeing is some kind of massive like movie set. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's what it would take to produce something like this. Well, that's what Brent's speculating, that he... I'm not speculating okay. that, Blake. Let me make myself clear. I'm saying this is what it would take to produce what I'm seeing here. It, because I'm not seeing CGI, I'm seeing real reflections off this spacecraft. The fl His flashlight actually reflecting off this spacecraft, which, you know, it's creating distance. You can see distance. You can see the size of this thing. I believe it's the size of probably a bus or a bus and a half. It's, it's something to behold and, you know, we, we're just getting it and I think we need to share it to get the public's opinion. That's what I'm saying, Blake. Well, that's, that's exactly right. And that's what we want right here at Third Phase Moon is people's opinion. And I think people will be giving it loud and clear. Leave your comments below. That's uh, there's a disclosure there below people. So that's important that people have a dialogue about what they're looking at. What is relevant and is this some kind of close encounter up close? Let's do this. And maybe people that are listening right now and watching because I, I think millions of people are gonna watch this over time and it needs to get out. People need to share it. Let's do this for the first time on Third Phase of Moon on a scale of one to 10. What would you rate this? Blake, when I came in through the door and you showed me this right off the bat, I gave it a 10 plus. I was totally blown away. And then minutes afterwards, you told me Ed submitted it. So it, it threw me back. You know, I'm not saying Ed's 
faking anything. I'm just have to hold back because the information is not coming in as best I, as I would like. His channel does give up some good information. I'd like to see more. That's why I'm giving him a seven at this moment. On, you know, clarity, you know, it's a top 10 in visuals, but you know, I need more sense, evidence, trace evidence. We need to get down on the ground there. He doesn't need to give exact locations, but he should share a little bit more evidence with us and the people. You really do have a good point, but then Ed has his own reasoning why he doesn't want to come forward. So you got to remember this, that people have their own lives and sometimes they don't want to come out and divulge who they are, where they are, when they're capturing these UFOs. And I, I honestly, I can't blame them. And there are a lot of people that do submit their information and their names. And by all means, that's what Third Phase of Moon's about. We want to give credit where credit's due. You know what? What we're going to do is play the entire footage, more phone calls. Here's a rock right now. Listen to this and watch. Okay, I'm going to keep rolling. Here I am walking toward the ship. I'm, I think I'm about, I don't know, 100 yards, 75 yards away. Um, just getting through the woods here. Um, I'm going to keep this rolling as I'm approaching. Um, Looks like I'm being invited aboard. I'm just going to continue to roll this as I get closer here. I, I, I can feel the energy as I get closer. I don't know if uh, that's coming over on the camera. Um, I don't really hear any noise, but here it goes. Here I am. Wow. Uh, you know, raw video. And Ed seems calm i mean like he's done this before he's not panicking whatsoever and in my situation where i get a lot of videos from around the world people are absolutely panicked but ed has a composure ready to go aboard an extraterrestrial alien craft brent any last words that even makes it more interesting the composure ed has and you know it just uh, makes me more open i'm just open-minded that's what we are here and i'm really open-minded to ed and i really love ed's material and his subject matter he really nails it and i'm glad he's joined the community sharing his ufo footage and we're here for him so i think we should share this footage and let our our people our fans decide on what we're seeing here that's right Brent. the people have their own minds and they decide we invite Ed to join us this Friday night on our Friday radio show, 12 a.m. New York time, 9 p.m. Los Angeles time. We'll be waiting. We'll be uh, standing by. Ed, call in. We want to get some more information in regards to this. People could call in, ask questions, share their UFO sightings. It's an open line, people. You know what? If you've captured anything amazing in regards to UFOs, let Third Phase of Moon know. The world is watching. They want to see your videos. Contact us via Skype, Facebook, on our About page on YouTube. Keep your eyes on the skies, everybody. Blake Cousins. We'll see you again next time. breaking news WTF what the this is what the independent says massive piece of junk dubbed WTF on collision course with earth the Washington Post mysterious space junk is hurtling towards earth and scientists are super excited what scientific America also states mysterious space junk will plunge into earth this November this is just breaking news just into third phase of moon this unidentified object whatever it is some people are claiming that it could be apollo mission debris or a recent launch by satellite but whatever it is we got to be prepared it will be landing experts say in the indian ocean have your cameras ready in that region november 13 2015 was captured and discovered by the catalina survey 
They're looking for near-Earth objects, asteroids, comets, meteorites. They have the eye out, but they still don't know exactly what this is. Why they dubbed it WTF? Now, that's a big question. It seems like they're baffled. And they're going to be trying to track this thing as it enters Earth's atmosphere. That should be quite exciting. I want to get uh, Brent's opinion about this. And here's a question to everybody. Do you think that our scientific capability with NORAD and all the satellites tracking these objects in the sky, space junk, if you will, that they should know what this object is and they're still not uh, explaining it to us. They don't think that it's going to be the end of the world, but it's still unusual in my opinion. Brent? This craft, this object definitely won't really be much of an impact on Earth. It's not large enough. It's basically maybe the size of rockets sent into space during the Apollo missions. Maybe they're even saying it could be the Chinese last mission to the moon, some space junk off of that. We're not quite sure. You know, they're saying it could be 40 year old debris. I think they would have tracked this a long time ago and they would know what it is. So for them to say WTF, exactly, Brent. They should be knowing what's going on in space over planet Earth. It is our only home as we know it. They do know about this one though. This is what's quite strange. This large, I mean large asteroid. They dubbed it the Halloween asteroid TB145. It's a hazardous pass, they say, within 300,000 miles of Earth. Now this is getting big now. NASA states that this asteroid will be no threat to Earth whatsoever, but if it was, would they even tell us? That's a big question again. You know, they don't, know what this object is but then they know about asteroids they know pretty much claim that they got all the space dump tracked in space but they don't know what's going to be happening november 13th 2015 of this unknown wtf object entering earth's atmosphere stay tuned to third phase of moon for more updates and if you've captured anything in regards to the ufo phenomenon submit